For the past several months, the Colts have been operating on the fly. Training camp stayed at the team complex, no preseason games. But one way or another, the NFL regular season is starting on time. A rocky start for the Colts with another frustrating week one. Brad Brown has the recap. Jacksonville was the only NFL stadium hosting fans on this first Sunday of the regular season, roughly 17,000 watching the opener. Phillip Rivers playing his first game in a Colts uniform. The 38-year-old quarterback came out with an aggressive start to the offense. The first drive of the season would end with a touchdown. Naheem Hines breakthrough for the first score and a 7-0 Indy lead. Hines would add a second score in the second quarter. It would also be Rivers' first touchdown pass as Colts quarterback. Indy took a 14-7 lead with that one. As for Rivers, he put up some impressive numbers on Sunday, but interceptions proved to be a problem. His first of the day throwing into traffic got picked off by rookie C.J. Henderson. That would lead to Jacksonville's first touchdown. Rivers threw another INT early in the fourth quarter, but caught a huge break with a defensive penalty against the Jaguars. Colts managed a field goal out of that one. They took a three-point lead. Speaking of field goals, new kicker Rodrigo Blankenship making his Colts debut. He closed out the first half with his first make. That put the Colts in front when they headed to the locker room. A third quarter kick, though, may have been tipped at the line. It went off the left upright and no good. The game would ultimately come down to the fourth quarter. Jacksonville taking their first lead of the game with just under six minutes to go. Gardner Minshew throwing his third touchdown of the afternoon. Jaguars went up 24-20. On the next possession, Rivers gets picked again. Jags got great field position out of that turnover. The Indy D would hold to just a field goal and kept the margin at seven. Colts get another drive, just under three minutes to go, but the Jacksonville defense was up to the challenge. Rivers pass to T.Y. Hilton, batted down by Henderson on fourth down, and the Colts lose in week one again. Seven straight, 10 times in the last 11 years they start 0-1 as Jacksonville comes away with a 27-20 win. We came down here, felt like we were ready to go in all three phases, um, and, and just hurt ourselves. Hurt ourselves was offensively with some penalties and some miscues here and there. Obviously got off to a fast start, made a lot of, you know, had a lot of yards in the passing game, made a lot of plays you know, throughout the game, but uh, not enough to win the game. You can call us frustrated a little bit because we expected to win the game and 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 uh, in, in a lot of ways probably should have. But uh, the guys are, shoot, we got a lot to be excited about. We just got to put our head down and keep working and, and uh, we're in this thing for the long haul. One injury of great concern for the Colts coming out of this first game. Running back Marlon Mack limped off the field in the second quarter. He had been holding his ankle. Coach Reich said after the game it was in fact an Achilles injury. Mack will have a further scan coming up on Monday. That could be a very big deal for the Colts offense as that's their number one running back. A pass catcher as well. We'll see how that turns out coming into this second week. Now the Colts won't play another division division game until week 10. A very interesting calendar with that this season, but the next two are at home. The Vikings come here for the home opener coming up next Sunday. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.